Indonesia correspondent David Lipson reports from Surabaya. These are the containers declared hazardous. <laughs> Opened up for the first time for the international media. Inside, everyday paper waste from hundreds of Australian homes meant for recycling. Well-known Australian brands, even the local paper, confirming Queensland as the state of origin. A problem? Contamination like this. Plastic bottles, cans, motor oil containers, even dirty nappies. It's very, very serious, especially because it's related to the environment, health concerns and the protection of the public. For almost a month, the eight suspect containers have been stranded on the Surabaya dock. A full inspection of the contents found items deemed toxic or hazardous. So the whole shipment is being sent back to Australia in total 210 tonnes of waste. Countries who are very concerned about the environment should set a good example to developing countries like Indonesia. The containers were sent by Sydney-based waste and recycling company Oceanic Multi-Trading. Its director, Indonesian-born Nissin Sunito, has thrived in the Australian business environment. It is a good country uh, to start uh, a business. He rubbed shoulders with senior politicians and donated $13,000 to the Labor Party in 2002. Indonesia is the latest Southeast Asian nation to take a stand against contaminated waste following China's decision to stop all imports. Villages like this in East Java have been swamped. The waste business has created a lot of jobs here, but it's also harmful to health. Microplastics have made their way through the food chain and are now detectable in humans. It's, I think it's very dangerous for our health. In the, for the next five years. Indonesia will continue importing waste with a close eye on the contents.